Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a really happy Christmas. I just thought I'd film uh, what the garden looks like at the moment and how it's developed over the last few months. I haven't done a video like this for a while. So I'll just show you. We've put some new cherry tomatoes in here. My husband's just sort of made a bit of like a um, trellis so it can climb up, but we, we got a really good supply of um, tomatoes last time. We got the big beef stock ones and they were good, but these are a cherry tomato. Now we've put some marigolds in and as you can see they are just like trees at the moment. I've never seen marigolds like grow like this. Um, we put them in because it just takes, you know, it stops all the bugs and things from coming around. Well that's what they say anyway. But you can see like the little marigold flowers on there now coming out. But they're just like big trees. These were grown from seeds. We've got some spinach in here but it looks like it might be a little bit too hot where it is here. We need to probably get a bit more of a um, canopy up over it. We've got some more of the marigolds. As you can see, the marigolds have really taken over the garden, probably um, giving too much shade to all the plants that are in there. I went to like a nursery the other day and I picked up these little capsicums, like they were throwing them out for a dollar, just a dollar for two of them. But they're getting some little capsicums on them, as you can see there. And I just thought I'd try it. Why not? Sometimes they throw plants out and they work. Sometimes they don't. Uh, I've got spinach growing behind here as well and we've put some green beans in and we've actually had a few um, off the vine here as you can see we've got some little green beans growing in there we've broken a few off and eaten a few as well but um, you really have to search down there to find them but it's a really handy vegetable to have in the garden our capsicums have been growing really really well we've had a huge like huge capsicums come off this and i've given a couple to my mum but these are just the green capsicums it's so handy to have them because like they're so expensive in the shops as well but they're growing really well uh, more marigolds over here we've got our strawberries growing now we've had a lot of strawberries off this but they're quite bitter but you know they're a bitter strawberry but you know still strawberries but it's loaded with them and I got these from the nursery too usually I get my plants from Bunnings but some of these things I some of these plants I got from the nursery and they're growing really good so it is loaded with strawberries in there and it's just so vast okay in this garden here I've got some of the shallots that I planted ages ago got a passion fruit vine that I need to um, put somewhere I've got heaps of parsley growing in there more marigolds on each corner we've put the marigolds but they're just like trees and we've got the ginger now this is a ginger that we put in months ago so I'm interested to see when we pull that out and we've got lots of chilies going here like we've got a a jar of vinegar in the fridge that we've been putting the chilies in because we're just getting so many of them and these are pretty hot and then the other day this corn is not that old we have bought some corn from the nursery because we've got another trailer load of dirt and I think it would have been only about four weeks ago we got these and look how big they are because they were small when I first got them so that is the corn growing there it just looks so beautiful in the wind I think so yeah I'm interested to see I'll give you an update when I get the corn growing on it there's more lettuce in there now this is the celery that I've put in There's a bit of paper towel in there um, so this is the celery that I just put in from the end part from the shops like the base of it and that's how I grow it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but we've definitely got plenty of it and it's so good it's so handy to have it's a little bit bitter I think it's because maybe it's like only small but it's still celery and who wants to pay six dollars a bunch for celery at the shops that's lettuce at the back that's gone to seed we have to pull that out okay so this also was bought from the nursery as well where I live and these were small only around about four weeks ago I'm pretty sure it was only three four weeks ago it wasn't long and they were really small little lettuces it's come out so like vibrant now the green and it's so good because we just pick a few put our salad like especially over Christmas when we've had like ham and turkey and things and make a salad out of it so it's really growing well we've just got them in those um, they're sort of like a canvas pot 
and they fold up and you can grow anything you want in them but we do get our dirt from the nursery and we get like trailer loads of it but these can be bought off Amazon or eBay and they're really handy obviously they're heavy um, for me to pick up and my husband just moves them around now and then here's my Labrador hey Bentley say hello yeah good boy um, yeah so they they work they've been working really well as pots Okay, so Basil, how Basil has gone crazy, and as but this is what Basil does, and it gets to the point where you've just got so much that you don't even need to use it all. But as you can see, this has grown into a huge tree now, and this is a really hot spot in our garden as well. Like we're at the moment, it's not so hot because it's the morning. It's only around about um, at quarter to ten, but usually during the day it gets really hot here. So we've put like my husband has put like a, a um, triangle canopy up to protect some of it. But I think we're going to need a few more over the side of the garden as well. So it does get very hot. So I'm a bit worried how it's going to affect it when it gets, you know, it's really windy today and a little bit cooler. But maybe in the next month it's going to get a lot hotter. Okay, so also what I've got in here is just a lettuce. We've got, I think that's a passion fruit passion fruit in there and more celery so I've got plenty of celery growing I'm just trying to see if you can see it in there so it's actually getting really thick the base I'll be using some of this today in um, some of my fried rice just handy not having to buy it and my mint now my mint has been moved it's been beautiful mint this has been from the nursery as well but it's just getting too hot here as you can see it dies off so um, you can't have mint in the Sun whatsoever I find it needs to be put somewhere so we can save it because it has been beautiful it's been a, see how it's all burnt that's from being in the sun and lately like in the cooler months when i did have it it was sort of against a wall in the shade so that has to be fixed up so before it before it dies over here we've still got our little orange tree that's growing really well i love to smell it like if i you know you can smell it through the leaves it just it's so beautiful and I did lose my herbs, so I'll show you over here. Let's take you over here. I've got my compost bin going here. It's still going really, really well. I still use that little compost bin under the sink, and I just fill it up now and then. I find it really handy. Now, all my herbs have died, so this is not the spot for it. And it's a shame because it's just really, look at that, just too hot, way too hot. So we need to fix that up and get some more replaced. Frangipanis are growing, are going really, really well. And over here, my husband got one of these Pope hoses. This is the um, the wheel that you put on the house. It's really, really heavy too. It's a 20 meter one, I think. It's really good. Like you can retract back in. I'll see if I can do it. Yeah. So that's it there, and it just sort of hangs off, and it connects to the hose that way. I've been looking at these for quite a while because it's just such a mess with the hose on the ground. Yeah, so they're really good. This was, um, I think this was around $150, so they're not cheap, but you get the hose and everything with it. My husband's put like a bit of wood on the house here because it's just way too heavy for the brickwork, he said. So it's going into the bit of um, wood instead of like straight into the bricks. But you can get a 30 meter one, which he has had a 30 meter one just thrown on the ground here because he had to hose the pumpkins over the back, which are dead now. I really want to show you what they look like, but it's just dying. But yeah, these just make it really neat and tidy for the garden. And other than that, that's our um, garden update. I have also got a new little addition to our family now. We've got a cockatiel. He's absolutely beautiful. And I will introduce him in one of my next videos. And it's really handy because I've got some nice vegetables growing now, like some celery. We've got some fresh beans for him and things like that. And they love eating like fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, he's only very young at the moment, but he's so beautiful and tame So I will introduce him on one of my next videos and show you what he's like. He's he's so cute The kids absolutely love him. The kids have wanted one for quite a while now So we've definitely got um, a house of animals now because we've got like a Labrador We've got fish and we've got a bird. So I definitely think that's enough But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a garden update today and show you what it's like We definitely want to put some more things in maybe another garden bed of something But we just have to get the seasons right too on some of the vegetables. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you soon for my next video Thanks everyone Let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time